So you guys got over 3,000 likes in episode one for episode two of the Chicago Bulls franchise. So here we are. And I'm really excited for today's episode. And if you guys want episode three, 3,000 likes, drop a thumbs up on this video and you guys will get that episode very soon. So what is going on, everybody? How is everybody doing today? If you missed episode one, I highly recommend checking it out. We did something unorthodox. We ended up signing Jimmy Butler. We brought him back to the Chicago Bulls where he last played for them in the 2017 season. He was drafted by the Bulls in 2011 and now he's back in Chicago. We're going to see if him, Kobe White, Adesunmu, Lonzo Ball, who we re-signed, can bring this team to the playoffs this year. We also have Clint Capella that we got in the Zach Levine trade. Matsis is going to be going into year number two. We drafted VJ Edgecombe with the sixth overall pick. Still have Pat Will. Still have Jalen Smith. I'm excited about this team. And yeah, we are going to be starting Lonzo Ball as our starting point guard. We're going to have Kobe White and Jimmy Barr getting a ton of minutes on the perimeter. You're going to have Patrick Williams at the power forward spot, Clint Capella at the five, with Io, VJ, Matas, uh, Jalen Smith, and Julian Phil being the bench right now. We also picked up Scotty Pippen Jr. in the offseason. He's been kind of good for the Memphis Grizzlies in real life. He could definitely get some runtime, but I think if anybody's going to get in, it's going to be Ben Seraph who we took with the 18th overall pick, or Donnie Freeman, who we traded up to get him at 31. And here we are opening night, man. I'm just so excited that Jimmy Butler is back in a Chicago Bulls jersey. And let's see if he can hit this mid-range jumper. Come on, Jimmy, what are we doing? That could have been your first points back as a ball. That would have been a little bit special. As we're taking on the Pelicans, I think we took on the Pelicans possibly in episode one as well, as Zion's going to get to the rim. Zion ended up going one of two from the line. So I just honestly want to score with Jimmy. Can we get a locked in Jimmy Butler? He's going to go right to the rim. And he's going to posterize CJ McCollum. All right, could definitely not have asked for a better start to Jimmy Butler returning to Chicago than a poster dunk right there. So he's guarding Brandon Ingram right here. Um, Playing good defense on B.I. He's going to miss that. Clint Capella already has three rebounds on opening night. That's what he's going to do. Honestly, I'm trying to get to the rim with Lonzo. He's not going to get to the rim right there. But we got Clint Capella who can kind of get to the rim. He's going to miss that. What am I doing? See, that's where I kind of miss Vucevic. And it's a big year for Patrick Williams, too. I don't think he had the greatest year off that contract extension. He's guarding Zion right now. I need him to step up because he does have a good tradable contract, I think. And... He could be somebody we dangle at the deadline if that happens, but I'd still like for him to be in my future plans because of how good of a defender he is. Kobe White, kick that over to Pat Will. If he can knock down these shots, which he's doing right now, that is a great sign. And yeah, they're still rocking Herb Jones as their starting center, which is going to provide some mismatches for us. We got Jimmy coming over some screens here. Can Jimmy have a little bit of a three-point game to him? Yes, he can. He knocks down his first three. Returning to the Bulls. Patrick Williams just got a block. Let's see if we can run the floor with Jimmy. Go right at Zion and he's going to get to the line. And he misses his first free throw back in Chicago because of course he does. But hey, we're off to a very good start right now. It's 12 to 3 and people are saying I'm not playing on Hall of Fame in the comments in episode 1. I'm playing on Hall of Fame. DeJounte Murray just knocked down a 3 as we're trying to kind of extend our lead here. I don't know if they want me to go isolation. Jimmy Butler, he's going to go right to the rim. He's going to finish inside. Jimmy's got 8 points here in the first quarter. Woohoo! Zion made Patrick Williams. Williams look very silly right there. It's a tough test for P. Will, but I need him to perform a little bit better, especially as a post defender right now. Jimmy come off, uh, coming off a capella screen, and that's what. Oh, we got Brandon Ingram in the air. No. Oh my. Oh my God. Oh my God. That's on me. Hands up. That one's on me. But why can't I get a clean animation to the rim? Why do I get stuck there? And then I get the animation of Jimmy going out of bounds. Uh, see, I'll show my L's. Dejounte Murray again for three. That is no good. Is Lonzo cherry picking? kind of is we're actually gonna get that ball oh i kind of wanted to take that let's get kobe white involved let's see if we can get kobe um uh, maybe a, an open three here if you can get off some screens yes he can kobe white in motion no good rebounded by click capella get it pat will oh he actually saves it wow what a hustle play there from patrick williams kobe white's gonna miss the layup click capella inside over to kobe white Oh my God, is he going to miss this one? He does, but Clint Capella is on the board. Oh my God, Clint's got seven rebounds here in the first five minutes. Looking like Angel Reese. Nah, nah, because Angel Reese would be different. That would be if Clint Capella was missing those shots. That was Kobe White missing those shots. We give him so many opportunities right there. Great also play by Pat Will saving that ball. Zion, though, making me look like a fool. He's going to miss that, but he's going to get great inside presence. He's going to miss that, though, and Clint Capella picks up rebound number eight. Lonzo coming off a screen. He's going to miss that inside, but that is a Another rebound for Clint Capella. We got Brendan Ingram in the air, and that's Jimmy Butler's shot. He's going to knock down the mid-range jumper. He's got 10 points. They're trying to go to Zion in the post. Give me that. Jimmy Butler's going to get his first steal in a Bulls jersey up to Kobe White. Oh, we got CJ McCollum in the air, and Kobe's going to finish that inside. DeJounte Murray for three. That's another three for Murray, keeping them in this game in the start of the first quarter. Jimmy getting the pick. Oh, there we go. Inside presence right there to Clint Capella, man. Jimmy Butler is playing so well. 
and just looked so good back in his Bulls jersey. Could have had the pull-up jumper right there. Found Clint Capella rolling to the rim. Oh, the oop to Zion, and he's going to get that over Patrick Williams. Patrick Williams in the corner. Nice find there from Clint Capella, but P-Will misses the three. DeJounte Murray winning another three off. That is no good. Rebounded by Patrick Williams. Come on, Lonzo. Let's push it a little bit. Let's see if we can get Lonzo to score inside. Kobe White. Anybody want to crash to the rim? I'm not going to get anyone to. Patrick Williams giving Jimmy Butler a scream. Let's see if Jimmy still has the post game in him. Post fadeaway. Jimmy Butler. Bang. Oh, my God. Jimmy is so good right now. Oh, Lonzo gets the strip. Oh, my God. And Patrick Williams runs over the ball. We were going to have a oh, fast break layup there. See that? There's nothing I could do to that. Zion going right to the rim. And we're on the other end of the post there, man. Okay, we have not been able to stop Zion. I feel like when we played him last year, we were. Not right now, though. All right, let's just see if we can get Kobe White involved. I believe this play is going to be for him. It is. He's going to come off a screen. I mean, Brandon Ingram's jumping at everything. He does not jump there. Kobe, uh, step back. Finds Clint Capella inside. Get this over Herb Jones, please. Clint! Come on, man. You're so much taller than Herb Jones. Zion Williamson knocking down spot up threes. Okay. Lonzo's going to get downhill and he's going to fit. Oh my God, Lonzo. Really? We're not finishing that? Okay. All right. So let's see how this bench unit looks as we are. I don't know if this is supposed to be an Io DeSumo isolation, even though it's not going to work out right there. I kind of want to see what Monsas could do. He's got a smaller defender and DeJounte Murray on him. Let's see if he can back him down. This is going to lead to a Patrick Williams three. But why does he drift to Jalen Smith? All right. At least we're going to get inside. We're going to get to the free throw line. But where is this floor spacing CPU? Please stop drifting right over another teammate. It doesn't make any sense. And we can get wide open threes. All right, Kobe White getting the Patrick Williams screen. Can we get Jordan Hawkins to jump? We do not. Uh, he's going to get the Jalen Smith screen. Kobe White, the pull-up jumper. He's going to miss that night. Oh, I thought Jalen Smith was going to get that rebound. We are definitely into a cold stretch right now after that hot start. Couldn't even get that steal from Brandon Ingram. Mata trying to guard DeJounte Murray. Let's see if he can stay in front of him. He's doing a good job right now holding on to him. Okay, yeah, great defense by Ruzelis. Oh, uh, and then he fouls. Are you coming off some really good screens? Wide open three, and he's gonna knock that down. Thank God, if he missed that one, I would have been upset. DeJounte Murray for three again, and he knocks it down. Oh my God, we're all tied up at 29 apiece. DeJounte Murray has been on one in this first quarter. He is not missing from three whatsoever as we're gonna get a high screen here from pat will kobe white's gonna get downhill he should get by jordan hawkins but that's a shot i should definitely kick it out to jalen smith in the corner kobe white getting downhill Ugh, kicked it out to jalen smith probably should have swung uh swung it to matas who's got Dejounte on him again let's see if he can get downhill come on go right at him they're setting the double io why are you coming out more stay at the three-point line Thankfully, he hits that mid-range jumper. But can any of us stop DeJounte Murray? I, I don't know, man. DeJounte Murray has yet to really miss from three. He's putting me on skates right now, and he's going to blow by Kobe White and finish inside. All right, Kobe, use that speed. We got four seconds here. Can we get some type of shot off? Two, one, Kobe. He's going to pull up, and that is no good. So we're tied after one. All right, let's see how this team performs in the second and third quarter. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, we get outscored 36 to 12 in the second. That is something. That is definitely something we're going to have to keep an eye on. And we are going to lose opening night. We're going to lose 114.99. Jimmy Butler, oh my God. We fumbled. And, and elite, not homecoming yet because we haven't been home. Damn, 39 points for Jimmy. We lost by 15. All right, so obviously not the start to the season that we would have liked, but we're going to figure some things out as we go throughout this. Now, we have our first home game. We lose 137-132 to the Warriors. Lonzo Ball, it's nice to see him having these performances. Kobe White, I mean, 2 of 9 from 3, 10 of 25 from the field isn't great. Jimmy Baller in this game only took 8 shots. He fouled out in 32 minutes. Moses Moody had 24. The youngins for the Warriors ended up beating us. All right, so I don't know if that's maybe something to see, like 114, 137. How is our defense looking to start off the year? Okay, it showed me that we can have good defensive games. We just held the Clippers to 100 points. Uh, they do have Harden, Zubats, Norman Powell. Kobe White had 19. Did Kawhi play in this game? Yes, he did, and he was not very good because Jimmy Butler was playing very good on him. All right, so could we maybe beat Philadelphia and go 2-2 two and two on the year? We got offered Marjan Bochamp in a first-round pick for Io DeSumo. We are going to decline that, and we ended up losing by six. All right, that is unfortunate. I feel like that is a game we definitely could have won. Um, Jimmy Baller in this game had 14 points, five turnovers, did not shoot well. Back-to-back -back games here against Detroit and the Lakers. Julian Phillips, 
damn, gets hurt. He pulled a calf muscle. He's out six to eight weeks. So those 10 minutes in the rotation are probably going to go to Ben Sarah. I mean, getting blown out by the Detroit Pistons definitely hurts. I'm not really sure who played bad. Like Patrick Williams, seven of 13. Kobe White, seven of 15. Jimmy, seven of 13. Lonzo was seven of eight. And then we ended up beating the Lakers by nine, which is definitely a nice win. We got offered a first round pick in Andrew Wiggins for Matzas on a first. We're going to decline that. And for the second time in about a week, the 76ers beat us. We lost 123. 115. So your Chicago Bulls are two and five to start off the year. We got a close game here against the Milwaukee Bucks in the in-season tournament. I'm not sure why Marjan Bochamp is a center, but Matzas is a center as well as Dame knocks down a three in my face. Love to see that. And yeah, we're up by three, five and a half minutes left. I would love to not blow this game right now. We got Jimmy Butler playing the power forward spot. Um, we got Kobe White coming off some screens. He's gonna get wow, Luke Kennard did not jump right there. Okay. I think we should be able to blow by Luke Kennard. Um, or that's yeah, I think that's Luke Kennard. Kobe White. You're killing me, dude. You're killing me. All right. Can we catch up to Mar Marjan Bochamp? He's going to get oh, hard fouled on the back from Matzas. All right. I'd love not to blow this game right now. Jimmy and the Whites, man. It looks really good. Let's see if he can maybe take over this team. He has done that against the Bulls in the past. As he's going to find Patch, or excuse me, against the Bucks. Patrick Williams misses that three. Um, and I'm referring to round one of the 2023 playoffs. That's a bad foul by me. All right. Let's see what Kobe White could do. I kind of want to take that three with Kobe. And he's going to knock that down. I was feeling it there. That's a huge three to put us up by three. Patrick Williams guarding Giannis. This is probably who I would have guarding Giannis. I don't want to put Clint Capel on him. I definitely don't want to put Jimmy Butler on him. Clint not doing a great job on Bobby Portis and the former bull gets that over him. One point game again. Yeah, I think that's AJ Johnson or no, that's Bochamp guarding um, Jimmy Butler. So that's probably a matchup we should abuse, but we do have Giannis guarding uh, Jimmy Butler right now. So let's see if we can blow by Giannis. He's too good of a defender, man. He's too good. Jimmy, go inside. And he's going to get the and one physical finisher on display. All right. Giannis picks up his third. What a nice play there from Jimmy Butler. And he's going to complete the three-point play. We got Karis LeVert there. Marjan Bochamp guarded by Jimmy Butler. Um, Yeah, so they got Bobby Portis at the five. I mean, I'm not scared of Giannis to shoot Pat Will, so we're fine here. I mean, let him take those shots. No way he hits that. Yeah, that was a not really a great shot decision. Clint Capella is supposed to give Lonzo a screen. We do have the switch, so let's get it to Clint Capella inside. Um, all right, out to Jimmy Butler for three. Come on, that should be good. Bang, there we go. Nice find there from Clint Capella. Puts us up by seven. Harris Levert takes a deep three. That is no good. Capella picks up his 11th rebound. So under three minutes to go, we're up by seven. Let's kick it over to Kobe here. Um, and let's see if Kobe can cook. We're gonna get a screen from Pat Well. Wouldn't mind a pick and pop if he's gonna stay out wide, which he does. There we go. Kick it over to Lonzo. He gets a wide open three. Three. Mm, Monzo, you gotta hit those. All right, that's unfortunate. Giannis just driving downhill. He pulls up for some reason. And oh my God, Bobby Portis is right there for the offensive rebound. Jimmy gets somewhat of a screen right there, but let's back down Marjan. Come on, Jimmy. Let's score inside over him. Get him in the air. Wow, he doesn't jump at all. Okay, I see you, Marjan. Um, let's get it back to Jimmy. Let's do a fallaway jumper. I kind of like that. Oh, he misses it. And Giannis just has a full head of steam and Jimmy strips him. That's just the game we're gonna get it out of Jimmy Butler. I don't want to take a bad shot inside. Jimmy gets a screen. He's going to go right at Bobby Portis inside. And he's going to miss that. That's on me again. But I get the steal. Let's go, dude. Jimmy's active hands are insane. Kobe White gets a good screen. He's going to pull up. And he's going to miss that jumper, of course. The oop. Oh, my God. That was going to be insane over Capella. Giannis misses the dunk, though. 116. Jimmy. <sighs> I don't want to take any bad jumpers. I mean, Milwaukee has not done a good job capitalizing on their defense. Jimmy, jumper, no good. Just no Dame threes. That's what I don't want. Um, I like Lonzo guarding him. That is one of our better defenders. I hate Capella guarding Giannis as... Kobe White actually did a fine job with that contest. All right, Lonzo's coming over some screens here. Let's get it to him. He's got Damian Lillard guarding him. Obviously not the greatest defender in the world, but I got to go to Jimmy. I got to go to our clutch superstar and let's see if Jimmy could do something here. Can he get around Marjan Beauchamp? Yes, he can. Inside, no good. I got to learn how to do like a Euro step because that probably would have been a nice decision right there. All right, Lonzo guarding Dame. Just no threes as Dame. Don't be an N1, thank God. All right, so they're going to foul Jimmy. Come on. They got multiple timeouts. As long as Jimmy hits both of these, we should be fine. Well, they... Um, okay, so Jimmy's now inbounding. I'd rather Kobe White take these free throws than Lonzo Ball. We were able to waste a couple seconds. And Kobe White is going to miss the second one. Oh, no. Oh, no. And I think they have a switch. All right, Lonzo... Oh, God. Damian lower to the rim, and he's going to miss the layup. Oh, and Kobe gets the rebound. Oh, my God. Damian Lillard missed a hittable shot with 12 seconds to go. And Kobe White could avenge his last trip to the line. He knocks down the first. Wow. I thought we were going to have a tie game right there. But instead, 
we're gonna be up by four. All right, let's clamp up. Let's play some good defense. Um, Marjan Bochamp takes the shot. Are you kidding me? He misses that. Clinkapel, get it out of his hands. All right, well, unfortunately, I wasn't able to, but okay, not to Dame, not to maybe a quick Giannis too. They go to Marjan Bochamp, and Clint Capella misses the first. All right, I guess I really wasn't going to expect him to knock both down. Please knock down the second one, Clint. Thank you. Bobby Portis. Oh, okay. No, let's get back on Dave. Get back on Dame. You, you're fine giving up a two. Marjan Bochamp actually hits the three. All right, there is two seconds left in this game. We should be fine. Um, I would love to dribble this out, but I don't think I'm going to be able to. They do have no timeouts. They're going to have 0.7 remaining. We should be able to win this game. And we were able to pick up the win. We ended up winning 106-103, which was a big win for us on the road. Jimmy Beller had 22 points. Kobe White had 19. Pat Will, 17. Lonzo, 13, 3, and 6. And through our first eight games, Jimmy Beller is leading the team in scoring with 22 points. If I could just get better than what he's done over the last two years. Whoa, I, didn't, I don't know if I mentioned this, but he got traded to the Pacers last year from the Miami Heat, which is very interesting um Kobe, wow that's actually kind of crazy though Kobe White 37% from three off to a, a good start Lonzo has been very efficient to start off this season Patrick Williams has been efficient which is great to see same with Ayo him and Kobe White are in contract years also I do want to see like on this Pacers team or excuse me I would have to see who's on the heat to see who they got um in exchange for Jimmy Butler is anybody still oh it was Pascal Siakam for Jimmy Butler what? All right, let's see if we can win back-to-back -back NBA Cup games. This one is against the Raptors. I would assume in a second for Herb Jones is kind of interesting. I'm going to decline that for right now. Damn, that is a disappointing loss to the Raptors. Scotty Barnes had a triple-double against us. RJ had 21. Jimmy Baller had 22. All right, three and six. Maybe not the start I wanted to this team this year, but we can get it back right here at home against the Bulls, and we do just that. Kobe White and Adesimu combined for 39 points. Lonzo Ball had 17. Clint Capella had a double-double. We're four and six. And we beat the Orlando Magic by 17 here on the road in our first um, or in, excuse me, in our third in season tournament game, Paolo Bancaro had 31, Jimmy Butler 29, 4, and 8, 21 points for Ida Sunmu, 16 and 3 for Pat Will, double double for Clint Capella. Is he averaging one this year? It's very close. He's point, uh, one points off from doing so. Can we beat the Clippers who are 3 9 and go back to 500? Yes, we can. We are now 6 and 6 on the year. It's a nice bounce back after not the greatest start. Jimmy Butler in a game where he only had seven points, we still ended up winning by 20. Ben Seraph uh, did not score in this one, unfortunately. Matas has definitely been better this year. You could definitely tell from the efficiency. You know, he can't hit a free throw to save his life. The next week did treat us pretty well. We ended up beating, um, we saw the Pelicans, the Hornets. We lost to the Pistons by two points, unfortunately. But then we rattled off three straight wins against the Cavs, the Wizards, and the Pacers. And the Chicago Bulls are four games above 500 right now. We're currently the four seed in the Eastern Conference. We have a 5.6 point differential, which is fine with me right now and it's just nice to see this team rattling off these wins behind Jimmy Butler even though his three-point shot has not been falling this year he has been doing an incredible job on this team Kobe White three is falling inside the arc isn't falling as much which is fine Patrick Williams is shooting 48% from three Lonzo Ball 13 and a half points 8.2 assists um and then yeah we have all these guys in double figures I feel like I haven't even talked about VJ Edgecombe that much either our sixth overall pick Kobe White coming off the screen here against the Knicks and he is going to knock down that three to make it a one point game I want to also get VJ Edgecombe in I want to see what he can do with this lineup maybe I'll get Matas in um as well uh but we have Kobe White and Lonzo Ball in the backcourt and obviously I want Jimmy Butler out there and neither of those guys can really play a center spot. And we're going up against Cat and Mitchell Robinson. So I need all the height I can get. As they run a great pick and roll there. Got Cat a wide open dunk. Jimmy Baller is going to get a screen from Clint Capella. He's going to try to score over Josh Hart. I don't know if they're going to send the double. Will Josh Hart go in the air? He does not bite whatsoever. Tough shot for Jimmy. As Clint Capella does a great job topping that out to Lonzo. He misses that. Another rebound for Clint Capella. Jalen Smith three. No good. Oh my God. All right, Clint Capella, you may be worth all this money I'm paying you right now because that is an incredible job. Kobe White spot up jumper. That is good. We do not score on that possession without Clint Capella. This dude is a monster on the glass this season. They're running another pick and roll. I could not get over that cap screen. And Jalen Brunson knocks down a three. They get a 97-94 game. Jimmy Butler coming off a screen and he's going to get a nice open mid-range jumper. And Jimmy Butler misses that. That is not a shot Jimmy Butler misses. 
All right, I'm a little nervous right now, and Jalen Brunson is going to miss that over Butler. Thank God. Butler now has a double-double in this game. All right, Jalen Smith guarded by Miles McBride. If they send the double, can we please have some good spacing? Come on, Jalen Smith. Score this over McBride. Thank you. One point game again. Jalen Brunson driving. That's blocked by VJ Edgecombe. Great help defense there from the rookie. And he's going right at Jalen Brunson to the rim. And one VJ Edgecombe. The rookie gives us the lead. And he has a chance here for a three point play. And he's going to finish it off. Oh, Cat gets behind Clint Capella. And he misses the cat. Oh, no, man. What are you doing? Um, Jimmy Butler right at Josh Hart. Wow, they really don't want to double team, which I get. I mean, I'm not really doing anything. They're not biting whatsoever. Lonzo pick and roll with Clint Capella. Lonzo's going to get to the rim, and he's going to miss that inside. But Clint Capella is right there on the offensive glass. OJ and Obi such a good defender. He doesn't jump. All right, two-point game here. They are driving Josh Hart guarded by Kobe White. Obviously, don't love that defensively for us. Jimmy guarding OG, which is fine. VJ, man, I think he could be a great defender out of the gate guarding Mikel Bridges. They're trying to run some type of set for Brunson. They get it all. Oh, they got me in the air. That was a great job. But what? Fallon Capella? What? We're challenging that. We are so challenging that call. Please let me challenge it. Don't tell me we used it already. And unfortunately, we are not winning the challenge. All right, Clint Capella gives Kobe White a scream. Let's find Clint right there, guarded by Mikel Bridges. I don't think they're going to send the double there. Clint, or Kobe White, back out a little bit. He's going to knock down that jumper, thankfully. Puts us up back by, or up by two again. Kobe White coming off some screens. Nice job there. That is a long two, though. And he's going to knock that down. Kobe White's got 25 in this one. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Clint Capella jumped in the air for no reason and Kat just got basically a wide open dunk. All right, Jimmy Butler, let's see. Can he do a dribble move on OJ and Obi? Step back three. Jimmy Butler, no good. But who else on the board but Clint Capella, man? He is unreal. He unfortunately misses the first and he's going to at least knock down the second one. Puts us up by three. Dylan Brunson misses that pull up jumper. Rebounded by Clint Capella once again. Who else? Jimmy, go right at Josh Hart inside. You should finish over him. He does not. Gets the rebound. Goes up again. Does not finish. Damn it, he's ice cold right now. Clint Capella helps out there, but Brunson misses that. All right, let's get the ball to Lonzo to slow things down. Kobe White gets off the Mikel Bridges screen there, and he's going to knock down the three. A clutch shot from Kobe White to put us up by six. He's got 28. This is a Kobe White game. They're trying to go in the post right there. What are you doing, Mikel? What are you doing? Patrick Williams with the interception. Jimmy Butler is going to go right at Josh Hart, and he can't buy a bucket. He can't buy a bucket whatsoever. All right, Lonzo coming off some screen. Oh, he should not have taken that shot. Yeah, that is not Lonzo's shot whatsoever. And I left way too much time on the shot clock, man. I'm trying to waste time, not take quick jumpers. Great interception by Jimmy Butler on that alley-oop. He's going to make those winning plays. He kicks it up to Kobe White, and that is the dagger against the Knicks. And yeah, we ended up winning 109-108, a great fourth quarter by us, where Kobe White had 30 points total in that game. And we are up to 12-7 and seven on the year. Fran okay, we're not trading Franz for Jimmy Butler. We did end up losing to the Pacers by 8. Halliburton, 21-9-10. Miles Turner, 17-10 and 10 in this one. All right, it is what it is. Uh, let's see if we can continue some NBA Cup success. I think with Phillips back in the lineup, um, or he's healthy. I don't think he's going to return for us right now. I think I'm going to opt for the Ben Seroff minutes to get him some run time. So we are 15 and 11. Unfortunately, we are not playing in the NBA Cup final. That was between the Cavs and the Mavs. And if you are curious to see who won, it was the Cavs beating them by eight. Um, so we are currently, yeah, 15 and 11. We've simulated a couple games. Now I am perfectly fine with us being uh, at this record. I think we are in a good spot right now. I think we have potential pieces to make an upgrade at the deadline. And if we are showing any bit of life, I want to make sure that we are going all in in these two years with Jimmy Baller. I do not want to play these around whatsoever. And we are here on January 1st with a 20 and 14 record. We are currently the fifth seed here in the Eastern Conference. We have a 5.4 point differential, which would be um, it would be third in the East, which is great to see. But yeah, 2014, I'll take that. I feel like the defense has been really good. It has been the fourth best in the East. The offense has also been fourth best in the East. All right, we have our first like notable injury of this season. Kobe White hyperextended his right elbow. He's only out one to two weeks. And we have been playing very well in the month of January. We are 27 and 19. And Jimmy Butler, man, he is leading this team. And all we got to do is get into the playoffs and we could get playoff Jimmy, which we know could be on another level. So here on January 31st, we just got Kobe white back we are eight games above 500 at 29 and 21 which puts us as the four seed still in the east shout out to the central division three to the four top teams in the east are from that division so let's start seeing who's maybe on the trade block this year because i think we could definitely look to do something we have clint capella's 19 and a half million dollars um i would like 
to get extensions done. Did I get an extension done with Kobe White? I did not. So I think we should open up talks with Kobe White. So 22 million, four year deal. It'll go up each year by a little bit, um, 8%. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Let's bring back Kobe White on a four year deal. Let's have him be a nice number two long-term with Jimmy Butler, at least for the next two years. So that contract will go up to $27 million in 2029, which is fine with the cap going up by then anyway. So I think that's a really nice return for us. Lonzo Ball wants $21 million. I'm definitely gonna hold off on a Lonzo extension right now. I know what's 18 million. Hmm. That's what I'm thinking about. I, I thought maybe if I was like not as good, I would think about trading to Sunmu, but I don't mind bringing that until the off season. I got offered a first round swap and Peyton Pritchard for the Sunmu. Like that's not a terrible trade because I get Peyton Pritchard as the backup point guard and I get a first out of the Sunmu. I'm going to decline that, even though that is a very generous offer from the San Antonio Spurs. We just beat the Phoenix Suns by six. So, I mean, guys, that like I don't really want to trade Clint Capella, but I would be open to if there was somebody that we can match that salary but i think Clint Capella has done a very good job on this team this year patrick williams i think could also be appealing out there but he is having the best year of his career 43 percent from three 12 and a half points does that mean what i think about moving lonzo i don't think so he plays winning basketball eight assists one and a half steals four and a half rebounds 39 percent from three he is really good maybe i think about moving jalen smith nine million dollars um yeah like i don't really want to move any of these other guys maybe scotty pippen um who just basically shot chucked in the absence of kobe white all right i am looking into this trade with the new orleans pelicans so herb jones is not having a good year 5.7 points four rebounds good defender we know that but he's got two years left on his deal i don't think he's best suited at the center position could I trade for him? That's basically what I'm doing. I'd be giving them Jalen Smith, who's got two years left on his deal. And this team could use a center. He, Misi, um, has been playing through an injury and it's Mo Bamba. So they can get a more traditional center in Jalen Smith. We'd be giving them Scottie Pippen and a 2030 first round pick. I don't really know if I'd rather throw in anything else. Like, yeah, I I'm fine with the 2030 first. I'm actually getting Gershon Yabuselli in this deal as well. They're going to accept that. So Herb Jones is a pretty big pickup for us because I think he could play some winning basketball for us down the stretch uh we are going to convert him probably to a small forward 88 overall oh my god that is kind of insane his backup position it could be center sure so that gives me kind of thin um at, at the backup center spot like it could be donnie freeman do i try to go to free agency like jackson hayes charles bassey like yeah i think i can bring in no i can't even afford bassey the problem is like what if clint capella gets hurt after the trade deadline and we're gonna pivot to this trade i don't know how i'd feel about trey Wiles as my backup five so I'm going to actually trade for Zeke Naji. He's not going to play a ton of minutes, but he's 25 years old. And yeah, he's making $8 million next year, but I think that could become a tradable contract for us down the line. Team option in two years. I'm, I'm okay with this. So we're going to reroute Gershon Yabuselli and Trey Lyles to Minnesota for Zeke Naji. So we got to update this rotation. And I think Herb Jones isn't going to start right away because Patrick Williams has been playing really well. So I don't want to mess up like the mojo of this. Yeah, of this starting five. So I think VJ Edgecombe, as much as I... I think he's going to be really good for us on the line. Uh, we got to get minutes to the veteran. I don't think Ben Saroff's going to get too many minutes. Or he's actually not going to play because I got to get Zeke Naji about like seven minutes a night. This is definitely going to affect Adesumu's minutes a little bit. He's going to go down to like 23 and we're going to go 26 to Herb Jones. So the bench is Herb. Jasunmu, Buzelis, Edgecombe, and Najee. So we are going to advance past the 2026 trade deadline. Our first opponent is Jimmy Butler's old team after the deadline. So we can see what Herb Jones is doing. Not really great as we're down by 16 here going to the fourth quarter and we're not going to get a, for, uh, a fourth quarter comeback. So Herb Jones's debut with the Chicago Bulls, he gets 10 points, four rebounds, one assist, zero steals, zero blocks, did not shoot the ball well, was a minus 30. Yeah, and Bam, Hero, Kalel, Ware, CJ McCollum, Desmond Bean, they got a lot of new faces in Miami. But we had a nice bounce back game here. Buzelis had 20 points here against the Milwaukee Bucks. Herb Jones had five points and five rebounds. And we ended up losing by one to Portland. Jimmy had 29 and 10. Zach Levine is now in Portland. Yeah, I think he got traded there on draft night. No longer in Atlanta. That's where we sent him. And we got these guys scouted at the top, like AJ Debanza, Cam Boozer, Darren Peterson. Those are the guys you want to get in this 2026 draft class. And we ended up losing to Atlanta, but we beat Houston going into All-Star Weekend. And we did have Jimmy Butler make an All-Star appearance here for the Chicago Bulls. He only had four points, two rebounds, and two assists in this game. And we do have to sign somebody in free agency because we traded two people at the deadline. I would like to get one of these guys, but everyone's going to want more than the minimum. Like, why does Poku want 6.6 .6 million? This should be fixed. This should 
rarely be fixed. Usman Garuba, $6 million, dude. You're just not going to play at all. <laughs> These guys should be wanting to come here for the minimum. Can't even get Kyle Filipowski. What about Rashawn Holmes? He's 32 years old. Thank you. Welcome to Chicago, Rashawn. So home game against the Kings after the All-Star break, and we end up blowing them out. We win by 34 points. Lonzo at 19 and 12. Jimmy Baller at 20. As we are 33 and 24, and I'm feeling playoff basketball. Oh, this is brutal. I don't know how much time he's going to miss, but Lonzo Ball suffers a right... All right, yeah, right ankle sprain, four to six week injury as we are here in the last week of March. So Kobe White really hasn't played point guard in a while, but we are going to go back to him at the point guard spot. We're going to start Herb Jones at the two, and we're going to give some of the young guys some run time as well, like Ben Sarif's going to get in the rotation. Donnie Freeman's going to get in the rotation as well. We lost the shootout game. I would love to get LaMelo Ball on this team, get LaMelo and Lonzo. That'd be pretty sick. Jimmy had 30 in this one. Kobe White had 28 and nine assists. Ben Zarev had probably the best game of his career. BJ Edge come at 15. But here we are on April 1st. We do have 43 wins. It does look like there's a clear cut top six teams here in the Eastern Conference. So I think as long as we don't collapse, we're going to be playing non-playing tournament playoff basketball. And I think we're better than Boston. I think we're better than Cleveland. Um, and for Chicago, 43 wins. Most amount since that 2022 season. There's a chance we could surpass that. All right, so we ended up losing to Phoenix. Only scored 83 points, but we blew out the Golden State Warriors. Jimmy had 29, Kobe White 28, VJ Edgecombe 23. We ended up beating the Washington Wizards by six. They have Nolan Traore. And let's see how this final week goes. Lonzo Ball is fully healthy. Let's go for the playoffs. All right, so this team, 48 and 33. We still have another win to go, potentially. We could get 49 wins on the season, but 48 wins for the Bulls is the most amount since the 2015 season. Jimmy Bauer has brought back this team to relevancy. And against the Spurs to finish off the year, we win. So we end up going 49 and 33. Luka Doncic wins your 2026 MVP award. Ace Bailey is your rookie of the year for the Brooklyn Nets. Cooper Flagg, sixth man of the year in Sacramento. Wemby wins Depoy. Stefan Castle most improved, so two awards there in San Antonio. Giannis is your clutch player of the year, and Mark Dagno is your coach of the year. Sam Presti would also get executive of the year. So here is all NBA first team Luka, Wemby, Giannis, Jokic, and Tyrese Halliburton. Second team, you have Shea, Cade, Embiid, John Morant, and Pablo Bancaro. Maybe Jimmy on third team. Unfortunately not. I feel like he would definitely get those honors just because he brought the Bulls back to the playoffs. Here's all defensive first team, all defensive second team. Damn, Nick Claxton broke his left foot. Here is all rookie first team. So no Vija Edgeco making that, but he does make all rookie second team. So your Chicago Bulls are going to be your three seed in the Eastern Conference playoffs where you're taking on the Orlando Magic, the team that traded the Bulls. Nikola Vucevic set the franchise back maybe a little bit because they ended up getting Wendell Carter Jr., Franz Wagner, Jed Howard out of it. So let's just quickly go through the play in tournament as well. Knicks and Pacers. The Pacers are going to be the seventh seed and then the eighth seed in the east is going to be the new york knicks kings are eighth in the west and the warriors are seventh in the west so this is the playoff rotation i'm going to start with right now it's obviously going to be the same starting five we're going to be playing a ton of minutes to jimmy baller and kobe white uh we're going to lower the minutes to vj edgecomb modus buzelis and zeke naj is going to get like seven minutes a night and we're going to see what we can do with here we're going up against the orlando magic like i said I am nervous. I don't know. This feels like it could be an upset waiting to happen. Let's see how game one goes. Any close game we are definitely going to be hopping into. We get off to not a great start, but we bounce back in the second quarter and in the third quarter. We're up by 12 right now in the third. What a start to the playoffs. That is what I'm talking about. We are up by 20 here with a minute and 40 left. And I do want to get a feel for this team. Oh man, it's just so cool to see playoff basketball back in Chicago, man. Something they haven't had. Like in a series that they were legit favorites in because when they played in that 2022 season they were uh, i didn't mean to take that shot it doesn't matter but yeah they weren't favorites against the milwaukee bucks they were gonna lose to that series or that lose that series because they were banked up um uh, monzo was hurt uh and that bucks team was still good in 2022 i forget if chris middleton did play in that first round series but i know he was hurt against Boston in round number two. That was just like peak Giannis. He was just unreal at that time. Jimmy Butler and Kobe White pick and pop. Why not? Am I going to get Anthony Black in the air? I am not, but come on, Jimmy. You should be able to take Anthony Black inside. Uh, not going to get much help right there. All right, you know what? Maybe I should hop out of this game. Maybe, maybe I don't need to hop into these right now. And yeah, we'll definitely be watching some of the final minutes also to see how much this team can go. Uh, without me controlling them but in game number one we ended up winning by 15 points patrick williams was wildly in it or i was gonna say inefficient efficient in this series 10 of 15 um or in this game not in the series three five from three three of seven from three for kobe white 22 four and eight that's what i'm talking about man herb jones 70 percent from the field monzo ball had a double double i love to see that so uh the, the winner of this series will take on pacers and celtics so game number two let's win both in chicago i'm sure they would love to split it in chicago 
I don't want to do that. I want to win both at home. And we are currently down by 10 here in the third. We're down by seven in the fourth. We come back, take a two point lead. We're up by six, up by three with 240 to go. And this is the Magic team. Yeah, they have Fred Van Vliet as their starting point guard. Kicks it over to Franz. Carter Jr. is in, Jalen Suggs is in. I think, I don't know if that was Jeff Green, but I know Paulo Bancaro is not on the floor right now. So let's see what happens here. Jalen Suggs is gonna get a good look for three. That is no good and Clint Capella who's a great rebounder, gets it over Wendell Carter Jr., which is massive. Kobe White to the rim. The layup is good. Puts the Bulls up by five with a little over two minutes to go. I want to steal them both here. I'm not really steal, but I want to uh, win them both here in Chicago just because I don't want to go down 1-1 and then you go to Orlando and you never know how game three goes and then you have the risk of going down 3-1 to one as Jalen Suggs made a tough layup right there. He's got 15 points in this one. We're going to call a timeout. All right, so after the timeout, it looks like Pablo Bancaro maybe fouled out or something in this game. Uh, Cole Anthony uh is also in Lonzo hits a pull up jumper that was really impressive from Zoe I did not think he was gonna knock that down and so that puts us up by five come on let's get a good defensive possession out of this game and we can kind of put it away Cole Anthony takes a wild shot over Kobe White no good Kobe with the rebound Kobe be smart with it Patrick Williams ugh, I mean that was not a good pass from Kobe White whatsoever Jimmy is guarding Franz which we like but Franz actually goes right around Jimmy is going to get to the line after Capella fouls him. All right, Jimmy Butler going right at Franz Wagner, and he finishes over him. Let's go. That puts us up by six with 90 seconds left. Jimmy's got 25 points in this game in game number two here at home. Kobe White just stay in front of Cole Anthony. Cole pulls up. That is no good. Rebounded by Lonzo Ball. Lonzo for three. That is no good. Rebounded by Capella. No, he can't get the tip back, Capella. Just come down with it. No need to do that. Oh, I don't feel good. Cole Anthony gets kind of around Patrick Williams. He's going to finish that over him. All right, we are up by four here with 57 seconds to go. I will say I'm a little bit nervous. I can't lie. All right, four point lead. Jimmy gets around Franz. Pull up jumper is no good. Jimmy, go to the rim. You had a lane right there. That is a shot he hits. Patrick Williams with terrible transition defense. Oh, we're up by two. All right, I am... I'm definitely nervous. I definitely am. All right, Jimmy Butler guarded by Franz Wagner. Let's see what we can do. Jimmy inside with the left hand, and it's good. Jimmy Butler hits the layup, puts us up by four. Let's go. 32 seconds left. It's a two-possession game as long as we don't commit a foul, and they hit a three at the same time. All right, Jalen Suggs guarded by Lonzo Ball. Lonzo just stay in front of him. No threes. That's like the worst thing. Jalen Suggs step back three is no good. Rebounded by Patrick Williams. Get it to a good free throw shooter. All right, Patrick Williams decides not to pass it. And I, I was thinking that was Jeff Green before. They got Draymond Green here in Orlando. And Patrick Williams bricks the first free throw. Do they have any timeouts left? They do not. P. Will is going to go one of two from the line. Five-point game. All right, just no threes. And we're fine. No threes. And we should be able to take a 2-0 lead. Cole Anthony takes a wild three. That is no good. Clint Capella, pass the ball, dude. What are you doing? Either way, we take a 2-0 lead. We won 113-107. We had a monster fourth quarter. Jimmy Butler and Kobe White combined for 56 points. How about that? All right, here we go. Game number three. It's going to be on the road. The first one in Orlando. They could easily win these next two. And it's a brand new series if we are all tied up at two games apiece. We have a really good first half. Can we pull away, though? They've had a nice third quarter. Let's pull away. We're currently up by 16. Do not let them back in this game. Up by 16. And we are going to be taking a 3-0 lead against the Orlando Magic. So, we could be winning our first playoff series for the first time in over a decade. Oh, wow, Paolo, 37-16-7 in that game. All right, here we go. Game number four. Are we going to sweep them? I, I feel very confident right now. Even if we drop game four, it's okay. Um, if we drop game four and game five, then I'll be a little bit nervous. But wow, we are going to beat them. 117-109, and we're going to advance. Lonzo, drop 40. He knocked down 10 threes. 16-6-8 for Jimmy Butler. 14-4 for VJ Edgecomb. 10-12 for Clint Capella. Damn, that is insane. Paolo had 37 to 12. He had no help in this one, even though he did average a 30 point double double. We're going to advance. So we are taking on the Boston Celtics, Drew Holiday, Derek White, Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum, and Chris Stops Porzingis. That is a very elite starting five. You do have Dorian Finney Smith, Jay Will, TJ McConnell, Tim Hardaway Jr., and Dennis Smith Jr. off the bench. So the bench isn't great, but that starting five is really good. Let's take a look at who played well here in round number one. Monzo Ball did play well at 17.7 points and 10 assists. Jimmy Butler, 22, 6, and 5.7 on great shooting efficiency. Kobe White, 
Could have been more efficient, but I'll take him as a number two right now. Patrick Williams was really efficient for us from three. I just soon move. Was okay. How was Herb Jones? Herb Jones, he wasn't great. Wasn't great. All right, here we go. Game number one against the Boston Celtics. Can we steal game one? I just want to win one at TD Garden, and we are up 98-65. What is going on? Let's go. We're, we're not blowing this game, right? We win 123-95. We take game one. I was calling out Io for not being a great shooter. 31 points in game one. Clint Capel with a double-double. Jimmy Bowler had five assists. Vija Edgecombe, 13 points in 14 minutes. Manas hasn't been too good. I'm afraid if it comes down to it, I've got to take him out of the rotation, which I don't want to do. But he was kind of inefficient throughout the regular season. And this is the playoff. So if Edgecombe is going to play better than him, i got to opt to, uh, I guess, give more minutes to the guys that matter. Uh, we're going to get blown out in game number two. You know what? That's fine. We stole game number one in Boston. I'm completely fine with losing game number two. Um, and I think I am going to make a lineup adjustment. So, unfortunately, I like him as a player. And I think he's still going to be in our future plans. But Matas is going to be removed from the playoff rotation. We're going to go a little bit more to Vijay Edgecombe. A little bit less to Herb Jones. I know he's been a good defender. We'll go 25 to Herb Jones. Um, I would like to go 33 to probably Clint Capella. Let's go 30 to Lonzo and 30 to Pat Will. So, here we go. Game number three. Big rubber match. The first one at the United Center um, in the conference semifinals of this playoff se uh, series. Let's see what we got here as we are up by 18 points halfway through the third. Jimmy's got 24. Here we go. Jimmy has had his track record and his history with Boston in the playoffs when he was with the Miami Heat. And we are going to take a 2-1 to one lead. Not even close. 118-96. We beat them by 22. Jimmy Buller dropped 35. We are getting playoff Jimmy in full effect right now. You have Cleveland and Detroit over there. Uh, you have OKC and Phoenix, and you have Minnesota and Dallas, a rematch of last year's conference finals. This year would be two years ago. So let's see what happens here in game four. Can we get our first close game of the series? I'm fine with a blowout victory for us. I am. Um, we are up by 14 here. Are they going to come back? We're up by 13. Up by 12. Up by 10. I think we're going to be okay. Up by 12. And we are going to take a 3-1 to one lead against the Boston Celtics. Kobe White with 23. VJ Edgecombe with 20. Jimmy with 19. Pat Will 15. And we get it done. We are playing at such a high level right now. Led by Jimmy Butler. <laughs> I guess Herb Jones is technically our highest overall player. But no, led by Jimmy Butler. So here we go. It's going to be game number four. Clint Capella, pinch left elbow nerve. He's day to day. See, if he goes down with an injury, we're kind of screwed. I don't know what would I would do. It'd probably be like Zeke Najee starts and Pat Will's the backup center. I don't want to do that. All right, we're up three to one, but it is going to be three to two very quickly. We are going to get blown out in game number, what is this, five? Um, or this would be... Yeah, game five in Boston. All right, here we go. Game number six. Let's see what we got here. I don't want to go to a game seven. We get off to a good start here. We're up by 16 points in the first half. We have yet to really see any action here because every game has been kind of a blowout. So more of a defensive mighty game here. The Celtics have just 76 points. Our defense has been great in this series. Jalen Brown has only taken six shots. Okay, come on. Let's hold off. And I think we're going to be advancing to the conference finals. Yeah, uh, this team is playing very well right now. And there's a fact that we can... I think we're... Like, I'm going to say we're going to advance to the conference finals. I would be very shocked if I blew a 19-point lead in three minutes. Jimmy Butler coming off some screens. He's going to pull up right there. That is good. Jimmy's got 35 in game six. He said, you're not going back to Boston for game number seven. We're going to blow you out in game six. He's got 35 points. It is so cool to see Jimmy Butler balling out back in a Chicago Bulls jersey. Herb Jones is currently in its center. Yeah, like that could have been a backup center option. I don't really want to have to resort to that. Um, We obviously know how good of a defender he is. And him and Lonzo and Jimmy, like we have really good defenders on this team. Lonzo picks up his fourth rebound, kicks up to Jimmy Butler, who I guess is just owning Jason Tatum right now. Let's see what we can do. Can we get a Jimmy Butler step back three? Let's see what we got. Jimmy Butler step back three. Bang! Oh my God. Playoff Jimmy is in full effect. He's got 38. The crowd are on their feet right now as we are a minute and 50 seconds away from advancing to the conference finals. A year after people thought we were going to be entering a rebuild. And yeah, in a conference finals game, or excuse me, conference semifinals game, we have Julian Phillips on the floor. We have Rashawn Holmes on the floor. Edgecombe, Buzelis, everybody's on the floor. Edgecombe got a wide open look right there. Unfortunately missed it. Um, but yeah, I think like Edgecombe is such a big part of our future as well and could really be somebody that we rely on down the stretch 
uh, of this rebuild or of this franchise i should say and i'm fine with him not really being too much of an impact player in year number one because it will definitely come um even though i haven't really been playing too well with him right now the chicago bulls are going to be advancing to the conference finals 22 rebounds for kun capella 38 points for jimmy baller 10 assists for lonzo ball and in round number two jimmy baller averaged um 25 and a half points kobe white averaged 16 and a half rebounds him and patrick williams did not shoot the ball all too well but it's nice to see jimmy kind of carrying this team to the conference finals we're going to be taking on it looks like the cleveland cavaliers who came back down three to two so you have the one and two seeds in the west you have the three and four seeds in the east so here we go taking on the cleveland cavaliers garland donovan mitchell isaac Okoro, evan will jared allen the starting five you'd expect tyus jones zach collins usman jang uh torian prince and Jalen Tyson off the bench. It doesn't look like anybody's hurt. And yeah, you got OKC versus Minnesota over there. I feel like the Western Conference Finals a little bit better than the East. So here we go. Game number one. We're hosting game number one of the Conference Finals. How crazy is that? We got off to a good start, but Cleveland did come back. We're down by seven here. Down by seven. Down by six with three minutes to go. I do not know why Julian Phillips is in this game right now. I don't know if that's the guy I really want. So down by six. Clint Capella, give me a pick and roll. Lonzo's got 16 and 5. Lonzo gets to the rim, and he's not going to get blocked by Jared Allen. It's a four-point game. Oh, Jimmy Butler fouled out, I hope. I hope Jimmy Butler is not hurt. Okay, so that is definitely not good <laughs> for our optimism of winning this game just because we are without our best player. And just to double check, oh, he got hurt. He didn't foul out. He got a twisted left knee. He had to leave the game, so he's day-to-day. -day. Oh, there's a chance he could miss multiple playoff games which would not be good, not be good at all. Um, even if he misses one, that is our best player. That's who we're living and dying by. So I can see why Cleveland maybe came back in this game. That sucks a lot. Kobe, can you, oh, I was gonna say good defense, but he ended up fouling Donovan. All right, so can Kobe White step up as a number one option? Herb Jones, I'm keeping an eye on you because if I'm not gonna get a good, um, like just play from you, I'm gonna go to VJ Edgecombe. Lonzo comes off a screen. Darius Garland doesn't bite at all. All right, let's kick it out to Kobe. I kind of like that three-point attempt. It looks good, bang, Kobe White. 4-3 makes it a three-point game. That's what I like to see from Kobe White. That's what I need for him uh, to step up and show us that he could be a number one in the absence of Jimmy Butler. Darius Garland driving Patrick Williams with a contest. He read that all the way. Let's go. All right, we have a chance to make this a tie game or a one-possession game. Lonzo Ball with the spin move in the right-handed layup. It makes it a one-point game. Lonzo's up to 20 points right now. All right, they're doing a pick and roll. Donovan Mitchell and, oh, God. Come on, get a block out there. He misses it. Jared Allen can't tip it to himself. Let's go. It's Bulls basketball. We have a chance to take the lead. Patrick Williams set Kobe White the screen. Kobe White should be able to get downhill. He's going to go right at Evan Mobley. That's a bad shot by me uh, i should know i'm kobe white going up against evan mobley what am i doing donovan mitchell for three. Oh man that's a wild turn of events four point game again can donovan mitchell stay with kobe white no we cannot oh man darius garland came over ugh, the last second i should have kicked it out to lonzo ball that goes in and out oh god they score here we're kind of screwed all right no 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 get on donovan mitchell oh i thought he was gonna take that he's gonna drive inside he gets blocked by clint capella it's gonna be their ball though oh let's get the steal oh herb jones almost just got the steal right there donovan mitchell for three that is no good huge rebound there by clint capella can we maybe get the two for one that would be huge for us right now uh, I don't know if we can. Patrick Williams, get out of here, dude. Oh my God, I don't like this a lot. Lonzo, Kobe White, yes, he gets around Donovan Mitchell. He throws it down, two-point game, 32 seconds left. We don't have to foul. All right, I got to play help defense here, but I, Darius Garland can obviously hit the three. So Clint Capella, you're going to have to drop a little bit because Jared Allen ain't doing anything. Clint Capella, let's go. The contest, yes, let's go. All right, we don't, Um, we do have a timeout. Do I go for the three or do I go for the two? I don't know. I kind of want to see if I can get Kobe White off the screen right now. Kobe, let's see. He's got Jared Allen on him. He's not going to be able to stay with him. Kobe White, 4-3. Give us the lead. Kobe White, bang, bang, bang. Let's go. Without Jimmy Butler, Kobe White was guarded by Jared Allen, and he's able to get the three off. All right, they want to go Ben Seraf for defensive minutes now. I'll go Edgecombe. Yeah, I like that defensive lineup out there. All right, man. That was electric Kobe White, but we could still lose this game. Oh, man. I am nervous. All right. Let's see what who they're going to go to. I assume it's going to be Donovan Mitchell. I trust Edgecombe guarding him more than Kobe White. Let's stay in front of him. Here we go. Here we go. Donovan Mitchell for three. No good. And the Bulls, without Jimmy Butler, who gets hurt in this game, take game number one. How about that? So yeah, that was an electric game one. Lonzo and Kobe both had 20. And here we go. We're going to find out Jimmy Butler's injury. He's day-to-day, -day, so he can't play through it right now. So what I'm going to do, I think I'm just going to insert Matas back into the rotation. He's going to get probably like 18 minutes a night, which is maybe not what I want. We're going to go like 32 to VJ Edgecombe. 
more to Pat Will, and then more to Lonzo, and then hope we could do something with that. Because I do think VJ Edgecombe can, like, he's not going to play as good as Jimmy Baller, but I do think he can play a lot better than Matzas Buzelis right now. So that's why I'm going to go with him into the starting lineup, instead of Herb Jones as well, because I, I need scoring. As we're up by nine here with three minutes to go, we're up by two. Oh, God. All right, up by two, 90 seconds to go. Herb Jones is in, Lonzo's in, Capella's in. I don't know why Julian Phillips is in as Garland knocks down a three to put them up by one. Why is Julian Phillips in the game? The dude is not in my rotation. I don't get that whatsoever. I really don't. All right, well, Lonzo guarded by Garland. Can he carry us? Can he carry us to the promised land? Lonzo, step back. Lonzo drives. He gets around him, and he misses the layup. No. Oh, that was actually kind of a nice move by Lonzo. I thought he was going to finish there. All right, down by one. Not, uh, 65 seconds left. Garland gets by Alonzo. He pulls up, and that is good. Garland is torching us right now. Oh, he's got 19 points in this game. All right, maybe he's not been torching us, but he is showing up here in the fourth quarter. I'm nervous. Lonzo gets around Garland. He's going to get inside, and he's going to finish the tough layup. Lonzo is keeping us in the game right now. All right, Darius Garland guarded by Lonzo Ball. Let's see what we can do. Garland is going to kick that out over to Donovan Mitchell, who's guarded by... I believe that's VJ, right? No, that's Herb Jones. Herb Jones, this is the guy I want guarding Donovan Mitchell. He's doing a good job on him right now. Good defense, Herb Jones. How is that not a three-second violation? And Garland gets blocked there. I don't know if that was Lonzo or Herb Jones that got the block, but either way, we will take that. So they are going to get... I don't... They might get a shot off here. I think we should be okay. I doubt they get a shot off right now. So Donovan Mitchell coming off a screen. He actually got it off. Oh, you got, oh, he misses it. But Jared Allen gets the rebound. Are you kidding me? All right, we need to stop here. Oh my God, I assume who does a terrible job defending Donovan Mitchell and he puts them up by three. All right, oh my God, Lonzo Ball gets that. Is it? Oh, I thought that was gonna be an and one. I don't know why we went for the quick two, but you know what, I'm fine with it. We do have one more timeout. Lonzo Ball at the line, knocks down the first free throw. Just hit this Lonzo, make it a one point game, and then we're gonna have to foul them. All right, Lonzo Ball, then we did get a missed free throw there. So it's only a two point game. We don't need a three, Lonzo pulls up and it is no good. Oh, Lonzo, what was that, man? That's a shot you usually finish, but unfortunately he does not get that to go. I forget Quinn Schneider's our head coach at times, man. All right, Garland at the free throw line, knocks on the first. If he hits the second, that's pretty much the ball game. And Garland is going to go two for two. So we dropped this game 119-117. We got outscored by 13 points in the fourth quarter. That's where you missed Jimmy Butler. So VJ Edgecombe and Kobe White fouled out in this game. Lonzo went two of 10. Can we get Jimmy back for game three? We cannot. All right, big game three. They take one in Chicago. It's because we're without Jimmy. Chicago's like, they're used to missing a star player due to injury in meaningful playoff games, but we're going to blow out Cleveland in Cleveland by 28 points. Kobe White jumps 25, Lonzo 24, 11, and 7. He's been good for us in the playoffs. Pat Will at 20, Iowa at 18. We don't get Jimmy Butler back. Wow. So he's going to miss three games, which is kind of a lot for this day-to-day -day injury. Um, and it's kind of unfortunate, but we have been playing kind of well without him. Don't choke it here in the third quarter. And we're up by nine. With nine and a half to go. Oh, God. It's a five-point game with four minutes left. It's an eight-point game. Oh, my God. It's a 14-point game, and we take game four. What? We're up three to one. We don't get Jimmy back. Oh, my God. Is he going to miss this whole series? That is kind of insane. Is it going to matter, though? Oh, my God. All right. We're up by... All right. We're tied, actually. Tied here in the third quarter. Lonzo's got 20. Can we pull ahead here in the fourth quarter in advance of the NBA Finals? No, we cannot. We ended up losing 122, 117. Donovan Mitchell had 40. So are we getting Jimmy Butler back? Yes, we are. Let's go. All right, so here we go. Game six. This is what happened against Boston, and we blew them out. Um, I guess that game was in Chicago, though. Yeah, we do have home court in this series. So we had a good first quarter. Second and thirds weren't as good as that first quarter, but we're up by 13 points here. We are up by 13, and the Chicago Bulls, are about to go to the NBA Finals. And this is without me like trading for a big name guy. I mean, Monzo's got 18 and 13 in this game. Why not? 21 points for Lonzo Ball. Yes, sir. He knocks down that three. Puts us up by 16 on the road to in Cleveland. We're going to blow them out. Double digit point victory, most likely. Damn, I will take that. Jimmy Butler, welcome back. He had 36 points, seven rebounds, and six assists. And we're going to be going to the NBA Finals. All right, so Jimmy's first year back in Chicago, he's going to be going to his third NBA Finals. He led Miami in 2020, 
led them in 2023, and he's going to lead the Bulls to the finals in 2026. How about that? Give him another rebound. That's rebound number eight. And I wonder if he's going to get conference finals MVP. I doubt it just because he missed some time. Like, I think it might go to Lonzo, actually. I don't know who's going to end up getting it, um, as if they don't take another shot, we are going to win this game by 16 points. Tyus Jones, is he going to dribble it out? No, he's... Uh, I don't know what he's doing. He's going to dribble it out. And the Chicago Bulls are headed to the NBA Finals. Let's go. There we go. The Eastern Conference Finals champions. Jimmy Butler is holding it up. Hell yeah. All right. So let's see who we're going to be taking on in the NBA Finals. It's going to be, wow, Game 7 between the Thunder and the Timberwolves. And it's going to be the OKC Thunder. Shea, Eastern Con or Western Conference Finals MVP. And Lonzo does get Eastern Conference Finals MVP with Jimmy Butler out. Wow, they blew out Minnesota at home. Uh, OKC was home. Shea had 44 points there in Game 7. And if we take a look at the Conference Finals numbers, Jimmy Butler only played in two games, 24 and a half points. Lonzo, though, was incredible for us. Kobe White's been kind of disappointing in the playoffs. So here we go. The OKC Thunder and the Chicago Bulls. I would say this is the best team we face, but Boston is really good. But this is a much deeper team, 100%. There you have a good starting five. And they have a good bench. So here we go. The 2026 NBA Finals. Can we get a ring to Chicago? Just all we had to do was sign Jimmy Butler. We have a lead here in the third quarter. I just want to steal one of them in OKC. Game one, though, we're down by eight with five minutes left. We are down by one with two minutes to go. And Shea Gojas Alexander just got a putback layup right there. So they're up by three. Two minutes to go. Is Jimmy not in? Why is... Oh, don't tell me Jimmy fouled out. That is pretty frustrating. Um, is he about to check in? I can't tell if that's Jimmy. I think that's Herb Jones. So I guess Jimmy did foul out. Kobe White gets that inside. Is he going to get this over Case and Wallace? Probably not. You're going to get it at three seconds, Kobe. And he finishes. Okay, I will take that. It's a one-point game. Shea driving. Lonzo Ball with great defense on Shea. Rebounded by Clint Capella. There we go. We're off and running. Kobe White with the ball in his hands. All right, we got VJ Edge coming in here. Who wants to win me an NBA Finals game? Who's going to step up? Is it going to be Kobe White? No, it's not. He bricks that shot. Uh, down by one. All right, can we get another defensive stop? It's just, I'm scared of Chet. I'm scared of Shea. Like, I love Lonzo as a defender, but look how good Shea is, man. He somehow missed that, though. I'll take it. All right, Lonzo finds VJ Edgecombe. Can the rookie show up on the NBA's biggest stage? He kicks it over to Kobe White, who takes not a good shot. It's going to rim out. Rebounded by Chet Holmgren. Up to Kaysen Wallace. Over to Shea. He's going to get by to Sumu. And he's going to finish that inside. OKC's up by three. All right, Kobe White gets around Kaysen Wallace. And he's going to hit that jumper. One point game. We don't need to foul. We just got to get a stop. If we can get a stop right here, we're in business. Now, if they get it two, it's a three point game. We could still tie it up. Go for the quick two. We don't have any timeouts, though. Can we stop Shea, though? Lonzo, good defense on Shea. Oh, my God. Right in his face. I hate you, Shea, so much. He knocks that down. So it's a three point game. I feel like we're going to go for the quick two, or, or go for a two rather than the three. Oh, God. Kaysen Wallace is such a good defender trying to guard Kobe White. Kobe White inside finishes. Okay. Keeps our hopes alive at winning this game. And Shea is going to make both free throws. So, 14 seconds left. I don't even know who you go to here. I mean, we have some good three-point shooters on the floor. Basically, everybody but Clint Capella. Lonzo, don't take that one. Oh, my God. That was not a good look. You had like six more seconds dude what are you doing so we end up losing game one 110 105 not what you like to see jimmy did a 30 and 10 clink had 15 19 5 he had a good game but we ended up losing this and jimmy butler oh man so he didn't foul out. he got hurt oh man he might be out for the series so here we go game number two. Oh, this sucks so much so we're gonna get to the finals man we're gonna lose jimmy butler i mean we're able to beat the Cavs without him if we actually beat okc here without jimmy butler i'll go nuts we're tied 103 apiece. Oh my God. How are we staying alive without Jimmy? I don't know. I don't trust the CPU, but I don't trust myself either. So this one will play. We can just kind of go back and forth with them. 103 apiece. Shade's going to get two free throws here. So they're going to be up probably 105, 103. Kobe White's got 26 points in this one. So I'm glad he decided to show up. All right. So I don't know, man. I don't really love Herb Jones out there. I like Io in though. Did... I hope Lonzo didn't foul out. Kobe White gets a good look from three, and that is good. Kobe White's got 29 in this one. All right, let's go. So, yeah, I guess I guess Lonzo did foul out. Don't tell me he got hurt. Oh, my God. Shea is so tough to guard, and he got me. Oh, wow. He got me on skates, but he misses that. All right, we have the lead. Patrick Williams is going to give Kobe White the screen. Kobe White, I don't love that, but the spacing is terrible. Oh, my God. All right, so Patrick Williams, post up Shea. Are they going to send the double? They're not. Come on, Patrick Williams. You're getting paid $90 million. Hit a big shot. 
Ah, that's not a shot. What am I doing? All right, all right. Uh, I hate this. I hate this so much. No, how did... Oh, my God, our transition defense sucks, and Jay Will misses that. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God, J-Dub, not Jay will Missed that shot. Oh, my God. All right, Patrick Williams knocks down the first. He misses the second. Okay, they didn't have any timeouts. Where's our transition defense? Io, stay in front of Caruso, please. He dies. Caruso misses it. And the Chicago Bulls, I think, right? No way they come back here. Are going to steal game two without Jimmy Butler on the backs of Ayo Sunmu and Kobe White. Let's go. All right, so that was a massive win right there. It really was. Even though Mata shot the ball horribly, same with Herb Jones and Patrick Williams. Oh my God, it was disgusting. So we have our first finals game here in Illinois, in Chicago. We are winning without Jimmy Butler. We're up by seven. Is this the team of destiny? Oh God, okay, we're down by 11. I don't like that. I don't like that whatsoever. We're down by three. Oh my god, every game has been close. We are down by three again. This is actually insane how every game is this close. All right, screw going back and forth. I want to see what I can do here. Am I getting a double screen? Um, no, this is a play for Desunmu. Um, Just ugh, not good off-ball screens right there. Patrick Williams, is he going to get a three ball? It's guarded by Aaron Wiggins. Not good spacing whatsoever. Why is VJ Edgecombe in at point guard? I don't know. All right, we should get our starters back in. Can Edgecombe make a play for a rookie? Make a play, Edgecombe. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. I'm forcing too much with Edgecombe. I think he's he's not ready for those shots at all. Wallace driving. No, I... Uh. All right, we do have one timeout left. I don't know if I want to use it. Desunmu comes off some screens, but Kaysen Wallace is too good defensively. I thought uh, Patrick Williams was behind me, but that was Clint Capella. That was Clint Capella. Oh, man, we're down by five. I probably should foul because they can waste a ton of time. Um... I don't know. We should probably send the double. Can we come double, please? I forgot how the... Eh, whatever. We're going to lose this game. Whatever. Put me out of my misery, Shay. All right. Maybe I shouldn't be playing these games anymore and I should watch them. <sighs> Damn it. We really blew that fourth quarter. Oh, that sucks so much. All right. Well, we're going to have... Looks like another close game without Jimmy Butler. This has like Pacers, Celtics, no Halliburton. Uh, sweet vibes. I don't know. We're up by one. We're down by three. Down by four. Down by five down by two what is going on every game is close unfortunately we do not get the ball to start um here as there's 40 seconds left i was in um clint capella's in pat wills and edge comes in and herb is in and capella gets a steal run 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 kick it to edge comb i don't know i don't mess this up please oh my god where are you going where's bj edge comb going the cpu spacing is actually the worst thing i've ever laid eyes on it's disgusting Come on, Edgecombe, please score inside. You're going to get a three seconds, dude. All right, he kicks it to Capella. What is Capella going to do? This isn't an offensive maestro right now. Capella, oh my God, he got fouled. I mean, I don't think Capella makes both of these. He hits the first. Oh my God, you would probably be able to hear a pin drop in this stadium, in this arena, as he misses the second. Yeah, I knew it. Foul, Hardenstein! Oh my God. All right, so Lonzo Ball gets it. Uh, he's going to have to take a three. Why are you taking a two? Why are you taking this? Oh my God, Capella gets the rebound. Oh my God, this game is so stupid. I mean, thankfully, Clint Capella got the rebound and at least give us a shot. Why would you take a two? What are you doing? All right, and we're down three to one. It's a shame. I mean, game one, we lost by five. Game two, we win by two. Game three, lose by eight. Game four, lose by three. Luckily, though, we're getting Jimmy Butler back for the NBA Finals. Can we win, though, with him? I don't know. We're already down three to one, so I have to make a three to one comeback. I can't even watch. I can't even watch, man. We're going to get all the way here. I don't know. It's so tough to get here, and we're going to have another heartbreaking loss. Really? Down by nine? I don't even want to see their celebration. Oh, uh, that sucks. Just no life. We lose by five. Oh, who knows how this series could have gone if Jimmy Butler didn't get hurt. Oh, uh, and Jimmy Butler's game back. I mean, 18 minutes. Yeah, he fouled out in 18 minutes. That's just great. So I barely, I had Jimmy Butler for like one game and we lose the 2026 MVP finals. Shea Gilgis Alexander is your finals MVP. Damn, yeah. Kobe White was kind of trash in the playoffs. Definitely something to keep an eye on going forward. Lonzo wasn't good in the finals. Neither was Edgeco, Montes, or Herb Jones. As, yeah, let's just get here to the 2026 offseason. There goes LeBron James, Chris Paul in Brooklyn, Harden, Vucevic, Alec Burgess. There goes Draymond in Orlando. We are not going to see any Chicago Bulls retire. Uh, Eric Spolstra retires. I feel like that's shocker or shocking. Luke Walton retired as well. Former Lakers head coach. Here's all the Jersey retirements. No Chicago Bulls. We're not going to add any expansion teams to the league right now. So the Portland Trailblazers, I believe we own their pick, but if it's not on the lottery, it's actually going to go to us. 
which it works out. So we're going to get the 20th pick in this year's draft. We have to give San Antonio the 26th pick. Um, that is dating back from the DeMar DeRozan side and trade. Lakers win the lottery, followed by the Raptors, Rockets, Hawks, and the Thunder, who just won it all. So we are here on draft night here in the 2026 draft. I don't think I'm going to make any moves on draft night as Eddie Debanza goes to the LA Lakers with the number one overall pick. It's the biggest name in a while going to the Lakers. Darren Peterson, number two. Cameron Boozer, number three. I feel like that's a steal. You should probably go two. Willie Thomas, four to Atlanta. And Darius Cuff Jr., number five to OKC. I guess the Rockets weren't going to pay him, but they just traded away a Men Thompson and a first round pick for the sixth overall pick. The Rockets take Mikel Brown Jr. So I'm going to take Aiden Sheridan here out of Alabama with the 20th overall pick. I wanted a big man here. Man, it's also the thunder of three top 10 picks. It's kind of insane, but I like that value for us. Caden Boozer went to pick ahead, but I feel like I didn't need another guard. So we are going to sign Aiden Sheridan. I'm not sure how much he's really going to make an impact in his rookie year. Boozellis is going to come back. Same with Julian Phillips and Donnie Freeman, as we're going to see Willard, Levine, Henderson all hit free agency. We won't have cap space. Uh, we can look at the cap sheet of this team. I mean, Jimmy's got one year left. I'm trying to win it with Jimmy. I don't think I'll have cap space because um, I did extend Kobe White. Uh, I could move on from Herb Jones and Patrick Williams and create some cap space. Um, but right now, yeah, we we have actually like, I think 12 million in cap. But Lonzo Ball is a free agent and he wants $29 million. I like I would give him maybe this two years, 46 million. Um, I'd assume he's a free agent. I would give him maybe like three years and then like that could be a good tradable contract. All right, so I did offer Lonzo and I'd assume new contracts to come back. We just made it to the NBA Finals with them uh, and they're on tradable contracts if it goes south. So Lonzo, two years, 50 million. I'd assume move three years, $54 million. So Lonzo will be slotted in as the starting point guard. Dasun move coming off the bench again. And oh yeah, we don't have Clint Capella currently on this roster. Um, he is a free agent as well. So I got to figure out who's going to play center for us next year. So we can figure out what we're looking like after moratorium. Any big switch ups uh, signings wise? Zach Levine goes to Portland, four years, 88. DeAndre Aiden goes to the Clippers, three years, 64. Hmm. Does that make a Vita Zubat potentially available for a trade? I don't know if he's a free agent. Oh no, he is on the Orlando Magic. He actually got traded this year. I wonder if I can trade for like Zubats. I wouldn't mind him and Patrick Williams, but like I'm not giving up Kobe White. I would think about trading Herb Jones because we have all these wings right now. So I wouldn't be opposed to doing that. Um, let's see though. Do we have a good mid-level mid -level exception for a center? We do. Uh, we can get Nick Richards. We can get Jakob Pertl. I mean, these aren't sexy options, but at least gives us something to start off the season with. So I'm going to go a two-year deal to Nick Richards. It's not going to be fully guaranteed next year. So it's going to be a one plus one. And hopefully he comes back on or comes to us on that. Boom, we get Nick Richards to come to Chicago. I would like to get another option as well, just in case um, Zeke Naji isn't good. So I'm going to give Luke Cornett a one-year deal. Why do I feel like Luke Cornett played for the Bulls? And he did in 2020. Um, and yeah, partially in the 2021 season. All right, so player progression, Jimmy Butler is down to an 83. Now we have a good enough core, I think in tradable contracts, we can make a trade next year, depending on what's going on. I'm trying to get Jimmy Butler a ring. So this could have been the year to do so. Um, maybe it's going to be episode three. We have a lot of young guys to potentially move. I think Donnie Freeman could have some value. Ben Seraph. Um, we could move Aiden Sheridan. Those guys could potentially be traded. And we are here in the Summer League bracket. We are taking on, let's see, the Dallas Mavericks as the sixth seed going up against the 27th seed. And we do end up beating them, which is nice. Uh, we ended up beating them, let's see, 103-74. We went 4-0 in the Summer League. It's nice to see the guys that are going to actually have a big impact on us going forward, playing well in the Summer League. Let's see if we're able to beat the New Orleans Pelicans. And we do. We are 6-0 or 5-0 in the summer league matzo's with 21 here nice to see that can we beat the knicks in advance no we cannot so we ended up losing to the next 101 113 all right so you guys can let me know what the minutes allocation should look like in the comments below i'm gonna go with lonzo kobe jimmy pat will and nick richards in the starting five it's not that appealing i, I will say i don't think it's finals worthy right now looking at it we do have a lot of tradable contracts, though. That's what I keep harping on. Uh, like, Patrick Williams could be moved. Desumu could be moved. Lonzo, who knows? But yeah, our bench is really good. It's Desumu, Herb Jones, Buzelis, Edgecombe, and Donnie Freeman. I'm giving the backup center minutes, too. So we have Ben Sarah up there. We have Aiden Sheridan. We have Zeke Naji. Um, we have good guys that are not even cracking the rotation right now. We're three and a half stars under Quinn Schneider. Um, but I think I'm going to go to his... Mm, seven seconds is four stars. That's pretty good, actually. So is balanced. But yeah, that is going to be it for me. I hope you guys did enjoy episode two. Remember, 3,000 likes for episode three and who knows that could be a very long episode maybe i'll do more than one season uh you guys can let me know in the comments below what do you guys think about this team going forward love you guys and i'll catch you on the next one
Peace.